Now for this last part, we've got to find the value of h, how high p is above the ground. And to do this, again, we consider the SUVAT equations, S, U, V, A and T. And the motion that I'm going to consider is from here all the way to here. And so we're going to take upwards as positive because that was the initial positive sense of projection. So take upwards as positive. So what is the displacement S? Well, the displacement S is going to be minus H. Remember your positive displacement up here comes back down here. Displacement is zero when it's here. And when it goes below that point, it's now going to be negative, negative H. U is going to be 0 0.9. It's in the positive sense, 0 0.9 meters per second. V, the final velocity, it's downwards and it's minus then 6.45. And that would be in meters per second. The acceleration due to gravity, whether it's going up or down, the acceleration always acts down. So that is in the opposite sense to this. So that's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second per second. And the time we know is 0 0.75. It's a scalar quantity, so no direction involved. So to get S, we've got quite a wealth of equations that we could use. I mean, I can think of using, say, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. And you could try that. What other equations use S? S equals ut plus a half at squared. You could use that one. You could even use S equals vt minus a half at squared. Or you could use S equals u plus v all multiplied by t over 2. Now, which one of these equations would I want to use? Well, I certainly would want to use the simplest, and I think this is the simplest. It gives me S straight away. It doesn't involve, say, T squared. It's a linear equation. And so I'm going to use that one. But I'll leave it up to you to experiment. Try it in any of these other ones, and then you'll be able to compare the methods. So if we use that one there, let's say using S equals U plus V, all multiplied by t over 2. What's going to happen then? Well, s is going to be minus h equals u plus v. So we've got u at 0 0.9. And then we've got to plus v, but v is minus 6.45. So minus 6.45. I'll put that in brackets. We multiply it by t, which is 0 0.75. And then divide all of that by 2. So if we work that out, okay, 0 0.9 plus minus 6.45, well that's going to be a minus number there, times 0 0.75 over 2, you end up with a minus value. You end up with minus 333 over 160. So therefore, H is exactly 333 over 160. Or you could write this as a decimal. And if you do, you're going to get 2.081 and so on. Which you might want to round up, say, to two decimal places or the equivalent of three significant figures. If you do, then it follows that H equals 2.08 meters to three significant figures. All right.